Right, day two. Uh, didn't manage it yesterday, so I'm going to try again today. Uh, I'm, I don't know, we'll see what happens, eh? Day two, start at the beginning again and see if I, well, actually, not at the beginning, halfway up. See if I can work my way to the top and capture the confidence of some of those good attempts yesterday. Right, I've just turned the camera back on again. I couldn't face doing the, the rock over the coping. But I've come back to it, I'm near the top, so I thought I'd better, better start recording. And so just in case I, you know, do it from the, from the flat bit at the top. I've got probably about as far as there. All I've got to do is go up to there. Anyway, let's see what happens. Oh yeah, um, I meant to say, I think I found the technique to do it. I just focus on the nose of my board and make sure my feet are in the right position and don't even think about the coping. Just deal with that when it arises. And hopefully you have confidence in my uh, ability to actually do it. Have confidence in my technique, that's it. See that I bailed out you know why I bailed not because I couldn't do it because I saw that I was virtually on top and when I saw that it was more flat I freaked out so what I found is working if I think as I'm approaching the coping I just think about the nose of my skateboard and my foot on the nose what I'm saying is, I distract myself long enough for me to get to a point in the transition where I'm no longer afraid and I can just ride away. There you go, I freaked out. I went for it. I went the other side of the crack. There's a crack up on top there where the transition changes from the downward slope to the flat. And I freaked out. But I was close. See, this is what I'm. This, if I go this side, then I'm. At, I've done it. But more than I've been up to here. I haven't actually been over there yet. Right. I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to try and do a rock to a fake. What is it? Hold on. I'm going to try and do a, um, a fakey rock, that's right, I've never done it on a four foot quarter. And this coping in here is really chunky. I didn't explain why I'm trying, trying this out. So I'm doing a fakey rock. The idea is I do enough of these attempts that one of them I might lean forwards on the nose and lift the back trucks over the coping. So I'm approaching this from the bottom up rather, rather than the other way, I'm going from the top down. So from the deck to the coping to the transition. But this way I'm going from the transition to the coping to the deck. I'm just trying a different approach. Just, just, I'm just trying something else to try and get my, myself brave enough to go over the coping and come back in to the transition. I think it might be on, you know, I'm quite close. Right, I decided to treat it like a switch rock and rock, a uh, switch rock to fakey. And I'm going to do it from this core pipe here. It, the coping's a li little bit smaller. Still four foot high core pipe though. Again, an attempt at a different approach. I can do a switch rock to fakie on the three foot quite easily. So I'm hoping that I can do it on the four foot as well with enough 
with enough tries, with enough attempts and with enough courage, I'm hoping that perhaps I can overcome my fear of this coping at four foot, trying this particular trick. It's futile, I'm not going to commit. But, you know, you keep trying just in case there's that one particular moment where you discover some courage from somewhere. Yes, six months later. I did try again, on and off, but not with the same intensity you saw earlier. It was just a few goes here and there, and then, out of frustration, I stopped altogether and kind of forgot about it, because I just couldn't face it. I couldn't do it. I really wanted it. And rather than go through the pain of not landing it, I just I forgot about it and moved on. But then the day before this, this particular session you're about to see, I had a revelation. I realised how I'm going to overcome my fear of landing this trick. You'll see in the first attempts a new technique, a different approach, which I'll explain later. Meanwhile, in the picture, there's that dreaded line. Oh, that line has caused me so much pain. Oh, I hate that line so much. All I want to do is just go to the right of that line. That line, though, signifies to me a, a huge difference. And I bail. I bail every time. Right, but once I get this, then I'll be able to do disasters and other tricks up on the four foot, four foot and five foot coping. Okay, you, you see the difference? You see how I'm approaching the coping more slowly, more carefully? I realised two important things to get in this trick, to feel confident to do this trick on any coping. The first one is, you have to understand what you're doing. You have to kind of know, sometimes you can get away with, away with it, but on some tricks, you really have to understand what you're doing so you can have the confidence to land it. Starting at the back of the deck with a, and then pushing with a bit of speed wasn't the way to do it. It wasn't going to get me the close understanding I needed. And secondly, disasters and fakey rocks. You don't land those tricks at the back of the uh, back of the deck, do you? You land them on the coping. Right, I'm at the top and I'm managing to rock past the line. So now the issue is how far from that line can I go? Because the further I'm not comfortable being the left side of that line. Here, yeah, I'm like I'm very close to the line at the moment, but I want I'm going to try and move it to here. Being that far from the that line is something I don't know whether I can overcome. Jesus, you're never satisfied, are you? I should be ecstatic, but I've developed this ridiculous relationship with this line, and now I'm too scared to move too far from the line, the line that I hate. Look at that, I'm on the flat bit. I've made it, I've done it, I can do it anywhere. But no, I've, I haven't. I still can't do this trick anywhere else because of that line. big moment I've moved to the other side of that crack that's the problem you'd get over one dependency and then you get attached to another that crack has now become my new anchor point uh, major step well the thing is if I've got all my weight on the front and nothing on the back I've got, I have nothing to fear do I so technically, it should be very easy. All right, let's move to the middle, far from my safety area. 
or where I feel safe. This is a struggle, being that far from all my dependencies. I decided to move on completely from cracks and lines and go straight to the middle. But I'm still very, very nervous and finding it difficult to find, to find the courage to do this right in the middle of the quarter. Ridiculously, in my mind, I feel like I'm miles from help and civilization. Yeah, I did it. I finally made it. Now I can do it anywhere. No, I can't. There's still more dependencies to overcome, as you'll see. Now the problem is I'm finding comfort in this particular shade of concrete and now I don't know whether I can go from the darker concrete to the lighter concrete. From there to there. Oh God, this is ridiculous. But just got to focus on the technique. So what I have to do is just trust my technique. You see, I told you, now I've become attached to a darker shade of concrete. And that bit of fluff, or f feather, I've got to move that out of the way because it's going to kill me. But this, you know, the skateboard wheel will just flatten that. It's not a problem. To make things easier for me, I'm sticking to the area where it's half and half. So a bit of the light concrete, a bit of the dark concrete. You've got to separate yourself slowly from your dependents. Otherwise you'll have abandonment issues. Leaving all this footage in is unnecessary, I know, but, you know, got to show everyone how confidently I ride around, though. Finally made it to the light concrete. Just the light concrete, no dark concrete. But I'm close to the dark concrete, so that's probably helping me out. But, okay, there, I did it. I did one. Right, not a problem. Well, mentally it was a hell of a problem, but I overcome my fear. It's, it's bloody horrible. It really is truly horrible. Right, now let's try another shade of concrete. The really new concrete. It's important I do it here because this is the same concrete that surrounds the bowl. And also the coping here is the same diameter as the coping that surrounds the bowl. So it's quite chunky there. And as, I, as you can see, I'm too nervous. Also the, the approach there is a bit tight. It's difficult to get the one tiny push I need. And coupled with the coping being that much thicker, that much bigger, that much chunkier, I decided to go back to the the other side and have a few goes there first. Oh man, the coping's so much chunkier here. I need reassurance, so I go back and forth to the other side just to get a little bit more confidence because this is a real struggle, man. 
because if I hang up on that coping, it's no joke, that's five foot high, and you go bang from five foot high down to the concrete. That took forever. Oh, that was really difficult. I had to keep going back to the other, the other areas where I was safe. Um, it, the chunkiness of the coping is min compared to the other side is minimal. There's nothing in it, but mentally it's just a whole nother world. Anyway, I'm gonna try and do a, a, a second attempt. That was a good one. I think I, well, the trucks really cleared the coping then. I felt a real significant up and over. I'm getting better at this, more confident. Success all round, I think. Um, got way over the coping with my back trucks then, I think. I'll, I'll look back at the footage and see what happened. It's hard to tell from that angle, but I think it's safe to say that I did clear the coping. Now, we've got another challenge. I really, really need to be able to do it on the four foot. I know I'm doing it on the five foot's fine, but for some reason the four foot is a completely new world and the forefoots is where I can do other tricks it's where I've been dreaming of moving my tricks to especially in the bowl so this is if I can do it over down the forefoot this is really 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 significant because then I can do disasters in the bowl I can do uh, fakey rocks in the bowl uh, so Let's try. Well, there you go, I can't believe it. I'm You've no idea how I've long I've waited to get to this point. This is such a significant moment for me. Everybody says it's easy. You just lean forward, put your weight on the nose, and put the back trucks over the coping. Yeah, it's easy if you if you can already do it. It's not easy. I will say say this to everybody else who's learning. It's not easy. There's several, several steps and techniques to learn, to get competent at before you can actually do it. Do it confidently and comfortably. But now I can do, hopefully, I can do fakie rocks here. I can do disasters. I feel like I'm up with the um, big boys now.
Right, I really need to leave. My son wants to go to um, Sydney Comic Con, but I really want to get my first fakey rock. I, w I just want to go home and have that feeling for the rest of the weekend. A fakey rock. In, on the forefoot, in the bowl. not quite the same as rocking over. It's a real different feeling. I need to move my body and feet in a different position. I did it, I just went for it. My feet were in com <coughs> excuse me. My feet were in completely the wrong position. But they were it was good enough. So I just went for it and and hope wished for the best. Well, there you go. That was absolutely unbelievable. Rock to fakey, fakey rock, rock to fakey, fakey rock. Oh, I'm so happy. And uh, I did it. Well, okay. Thank Significant day. Um, thanks for watching. Goodbye.